Andy, is this your house? Well, I had no idea you were so rich. Uh, yeah, this is my place. Andy, I can't believe you never said anything. Yeah, I thought we were friends, man. Simon, I barely know you. You're always super mean to me. We just got lumped together because of this group project. Come on, give us a tour of your house. Well, Ryland, come on, check out the pool. Man, this is sweet. Whoa, yeah. This is the life. Hey, Andy, what's wrong? Why are you acting so weird? Well, I'm just worried that I'm going to get treated differently now. What? Seriously? No way. You and I have been friends forever. Is this why you've never really wanted to hang out at your place? Yeah, I never really wanted anyone to know that I was rich. Well, if you want, next week we can hang out at my house instead. Really? That's awesome. But all right, you two. Make sure you guys don't tell anyone, okay? Look, he's so cool, guys. Let's be friends. I always thought you were cool. Can I have some Robux, please? I, uh... Hey, guys, come on. Back off, okay? Get your own rich friend. This one's mine. Andy, Simon, what is going on? I thought we weren't supposed to tell anybody. Oh, come on, man. It's not a big deal. I mean, look at how cool this is. You're like the most popular kid in school now. Simon, this isn't cool. Attitude much? Andy, Andy, wait. You see, Rylan, I knew things were going to change. I just knew it. Andy, just calm down, all right? What's gotten you so upset? So the school finds out now that you're super rich. Big deal. Well, when I was younger, everyone treated me differently. I just wanted to be normal, and but all the kids would pick on me. Or even worse, they'd pretend to be my friend just because I was rich. I don't want that to happen again. Andy, do you honestly think I would do that to you? I don't think so, but I don't know about anybody else. Look, Andy, I promise that's not going to happen, okay? Things aren't going to change that much. I hope you're right. Yo, Andy, you suck, dude. You know Brian and Emery? Uh, yeah. Hey, guys. Hey, what's up, Andy? What's up, dude? Yeah, I was thinking, like, we should totally hang out, you know? Maybe, like, go to the mall or the arcade or something. Huh, really? Us hanging out? You guys never gave me the time of day before. We were just joking around. We're all friends here. <laughs> Come on, Andy. Why are you being so lame, man? I'm not lame. I would actually like to hang out with you guys. I think we should go to the mall or something. Well, we have the football game we wanted to go to tonight. Oh, yeah, that's right. You like football, don't you, Andy? Uh, yeah, I do like football. We all wanted to go to the game, but none of us have money for the tickets. Probably should just skip it then. Well, I can help with that. I can just buy you guys all tickets. Wait, really? Are, are you sure? I mean, it's not a big deal. But the football game is super important. It's the best game of the season. Yeah. Well, of course. Here, let me buy you guys a whole VIP box. This is going to be the best football game ever, guys. We're a real friend. Hey, Rylan. Sorry I'm late. It's fine. Honestly, I didn't even know if you were going to show up or not. What's that supposed to mean? Dude, did you completely forget? You and I were supposed to hang out at my place the other night. So sorry, Rylan. I totally forgot. No, you totally ditched me. You went to a football game with Simon, Brian, and Emery? Those guys are jerks. And also, you don't even like football. They just asked me to hang out, and I said yes. Honestly, I'm starting to get a little concerned, Andy. Why is that? You know that Simon's just being nice to you because you're rich. He wasn't your friend before. I don't want him taking advantage of you. But it really felt good that I could finally fit in. Well, I thought you used to fit in before. Yeah, but it didn't feel like that sometimes. Especially when people picked on me. I'm just watching out for you, okay? You're my best friend, that's all. Sorry, Rylan, I'm getting a call. Oh, it's my dad. Andy, get home right now. Did you honestly think I was not going to find out how much money you spent the other night? No, Dad, please. I can explain. Well, good, because you need to explain to me why you spent $30,000 on a VIP booth at a football game the other night. I just wanted to hang out and make some new friends. Ugh, I'm just so disappointed in you. Dad, wait. We have a lot of money, but it's not about flashing it around just to impress some dumb kids. I built this life so that we could help people and so that you could have a nice, comfortable life to live in. I know. I remember this talk from a while ago, Dad. I just thought you understood. And then out of nowhere, you just spend $30,000. Well, I was just trying really hard to fit in at school. I promise I won't do it ever again. Well, you better not, because if you do this again, I'm going to have to take away all your credit cards and everything. Is that clear? Yeah, Dad. I'm sorry. Andy, what is this all about? Whoa, sick new car, man. Tesla, that's awesome. Yeah, it's pretty sweet, right? Yeah, this is really nice. Well, I'm glad you like it because it's yours. Wait, what? What are you talking about? I just feel really bad for ditching you the other day. I wanted to do something nice. Didn't you just tell me, though, your dad got mad at you for spending all that money? Yeah, he did. But I just really had to make this up to you, okay? This is your car now. Wow, Andy, this is so nice. Thank you so much. Hey, guys, what's up? Whoa, Andy, sweet new Tesla, bro. Well, it's actually not mine. It's Ryland's. It's 
What? Rylan, how did you afford a Tesla? You and your family are like stupidly broke. I gave it to him as a gift. Well, that's not fair, Andy. I want a Tesla too. I'm sorry, Simon. Give me the keys. I want to take this one for a test drive and see if I like it. Wait, I haven't even gotten to drive it yet. How does this thing work? So stupid. Whoa! Oh my gosh! Simon, are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Whatever, this car sucks though. Oh my gosh, you just ruined my gift. I can't believe you. Yeah, whatever. Andy, you can just buy him a new one anyways. That's not how this works, Simon. Well, whatever. Car's lame and you guys are acting lame too. Yo, Andy, dude, there you are. About time you showed up. Hey, thanks for the invite, guys. But did you guys already eat? Yeah, we were like super hungry, right, Emery? Yeah, I ate so much food, dude. We totally wanted you to have dinner with us, but it took you forever. You guys just texted me like five minutes ago, but whatever. I'm actually here for a different reason. Okay, and that would be... I need to talk to you about what you did to Ryland's car. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's right. That was so funny. No, it wasn't funny, Simon. He's getting the car fixed, and we want you to pay for for it. What? Me? I'm not gonna pay for it. It wasn't my fault. Yes, it was. You crashed the car. Yeah, well, Ryland gave me the keys and told me I could. So what? Do you think just because you're rich, you're better than us? I think he thinks he's better than us. No, that's not it at all. You know what? I'm over this conversation, okay? We'll talk about this later. But right now, Emery and I have somewhere super important to be. Emery, come on. Let's go. Okay, dude. Bye, Andy. Wait, guys. Um, excuse me, sir. Were you just part of that party that just left? Uh, I guess so. Well, someone needs to pay the bill. It's over a thousand dollars. A thousand dollars? Ugh, I guess if no one will pay this, I have to. Yeah, come on, dude. The store is totally sweet. I've had enough of Simon. I'm gonna go tell him that we can't be friends anymore. Hey, Simon. Oh, yo, sup, Andy? Man, we were just talking about you. Oh, really? Yeah, we were just thinking about how we should take a friend's trip out to LA, you know? Meet the other rich people of the world, hang out with celebrities. No, no way. Why not? You said your dad had a second home in LA anyways. Dude, I know what you're doing. You're just using me, just like all the other kids I knew. I'm not gonna be friends with someone like that. Uh, I'm gonna go try on this hoodie. Andy, seriously? You're embarrassing me in front of my friend. How could you? How could you use me for all of my money and not actually be my real friend? Because honestly, you're not that fun to hang out with. Your money is the coolest thing about you. It's the only reason why people like you. That's not true. I can assure you it is. And the sooner you accept it, the better, man. And if you're not down for the trip to LA, whatever. I already booked it with your credit card info. Yeah, guys, I hate to say it, but Andy's out. He's no longer our friend. What, really? Aw, he was the richest kid in school. Yeah, this sucks. Simon, this is your fault, dude. Whatever. It's not like we even need him anyway. I have his credit card info. You have his credit card info? How? It was easy. I stole it from him a few days ago. I was hanging out with Andy at his house, and he got up to go to the bathroom. So I took his phone, and I got all the information I needed. Whoa, I can't believe you'd do that, dude. Isn't that, like, technically fraud? It doesn't matter matter, man. All these people are so rich, they're not even gonna see the money go away. Okay, well, uh, what are we gonna do now? I know exactly what we should do. Yeah, this is awesome! Thanks, Andy! <laughs> yeah, just put it here on the car. Yeah, this car is sweet. I'll pay for it in cash. Yup, party! Oh, yeah! Look at all this money! We are so rich now! Oh, no, Rylan, you're going down this time! Yeah, well, watch this combo! Huh? Take that! Andy, I am not very happy right now, and do you know why? Uh, no, Dad, what's wrong? I'm sitting here wondering why my son felt the need to spend over a million dollars in a single day! A million dollars?! What? How is it possible to spend that much money? It's actually extremely easy, Rylan. Things are really expensive nowadays. But this is unacceptable. I told you to be better with your money. Dad, I didn't spend any of that money. Yeah, Andy and I were out at the lake all day the other day. We didn't spend a dime. Well, someone spent over a million dollars the other day and took out another 500,000 in cash at an ATM. Andy, remember what you said about Simon? This has his name written all over it. Simon, who's Simon? Simon was someone who I thought was my friend. 
friend. I warned you about this, Andy. And I warned him about it too. But Andy's a really nice guy and he wanted to give Simon a chance. But they're not friends anymore. Well, I'm gonna have to have a conversation with him and his father. He did what? I cannot believe this kid. Simon, get over here. What's it now, dad? Uh-oh. You give these people that money back right now. I already spent a lot of it. I don't care. Give it back. Fine, I'll go get it. I'm so sorry, you two. That kid's always been a brat. He even steals money from me sometimes. We're willing to put this all behind us and not go to the police if he just gives the money back now. Oh, trust me. You will. All right, fine. Here you go. Here's the rest of the money. I'm really sorry, Andy. I don't think you are, Simon. Well, can we, like, still at least be friends? I still think you're kind of cool. No, I don't think so. Thanks for the rest of the money back. We'll be going now. Hey, there you are. Man, I'm wondering where you've been. Oh, hey, Rylan. I just needed to be alone for a little bit. Alone? What's wrong? I just have a lot on my mind. I really thought I could open up to everyone about being rich. It looks like nothing's changed. Well, have I changed? No, you're the one person that hasn't. Well, it's because, honestly, I don't care about money that much. Sure, money is cool, but it's not everything. I know you're right. I wish I just felt better about it all. I just can't believe Simon did all that. Simon is a complete selfish jerk. And he was obviously never your friend to begin with. Yeah, you're right. Don't feel bad about being rich. You didn't ask for it. It just kind of happened, you know? Yeah, you're right. Thanks, Ryan. Well, I know you, and I know giving back and helping people makes you feel good. So why don't you do something like that? You know, that's a great idea. So my mom let my little brother have my iPad, but he spilled apple juice all over it, and now it's broken. So you want this new iPad so you can do your homework, right? Yeah, exactly. I need it for my project. Well, then here you go. Well, thanks, man. This is so cool. This is going to change my life for the better, I promise. I hope so. What on earth is going on over here? Oh, hey, Simon. So you're just throwing away your money to everyone, huh? Can I wait in line too? You just used me for my money and still treated me like garbage. There's no way I'd give you any more. Yeah, well, you're still a loser, Andy. No one likes you, okay? You know what? I'm okay with that because I know that I'm helping people. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. The richest family in town, the Caldwells, has lost everything. You put that down. I just bought that bag. It's a new Birkin. What do you mean? The business is completely bankrupt? How is that even possible? Dad, what's going on? Well, Paul, it looks as though we have completely lost everything. And now we have to leave. What? I don't want to leave. And if we don't go, we're going to get arrested. Honey? Honey, please come quick. Oh, no, no. Not the G-Wagon. Dad, what are we going to do now? Well, if it isn't the stupid Caldwells. <laughs> oh my gosh, no, my dress. Serves you right, rich snobs. You deserve to be broke. Honey, I don't think I can do this. <laughs> what are we supposed to do now? Our lives are completely ruined. Are we going to be homeless? I'm too pretty to be homeless. I do not care about that right now, Diane. I had a brand deal with Jeff Bezos, and now it's gone down in flames. Look, guys, just calm down. This is just a slight detour. We'll be back on our feet in no time. Maybe he's right, honey. Maybe we should listen to him. Uh, I'm sorry, Paul. I'm just, I'm just losing it, that's all. Let's go to this motel and try and get a room for the night. Um, this can't be it. Well, this is the address, so it's got to be it. Honey, look at this place. It's run down. It's disgusting. And I bet you they don't even have room service. Uh, excuse me, sir. Are you the owner here? We're looking to uh, rent a couple rooms for the night. Oh, no. Absolutely not. Uh, excuse me? I know who you are. You're the Caldwells. You ain't got no money. Please, sir. We really need a place to stay. If you ain't got no money, that means you can't pay for the room. Now, Get lost! Well, that was a complete and total bust. What do we do now? Well, I guess our only option is to be homeless. All right, I think this is our best bet. Is this really my life? This place is disgusting. There's trash everywhere. I am not sleeping here. Well, where else are we going to go? It's our only choice, guys. Seems as though we've been blacklisted from society. All because of my stupid business partner. He's the reason why we lost everything. I can't believe he didn't pay those, what are they called, taxes? Dad, pointing the blame isn't going to fix things. If we want things to change, I suggest that we get some jobs for now. I had a job for over 20 years running a successful business. Now what am I going to do? Honey, I have never worked a day in my life. 
and I don't plan on starting now. Maybe we call Winston and Beatrice. They were always super easy to manipulate. Well, while you guys do that, I'm gonna go and look for work. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Good luck or something. Just come home in one piece. Got it? Yeah, thanks, Dad. Whoa, look at those guys. Oh, that looks really fun. They seem to be super hardworking. They're even working overnight. You know, that gives me an idea. And that's why I think I'd be great for this job. I could really use the opportunity. So what do you think? Yeah, right. Absolutely not. No, well, why not? You're Paul Caldwell. I heard all about you on the news. Your family is bad business. Look, it was all a big misunderstanding and I had nothing to do with that. Please, sir. I'm sure you had nothing to do with it because you're just a spoiled little brat. This is not gonna work out, okay? You don't belong here. Hey, boss. Actually, I think we really could use the help. I'm sick of working super late nights and we really need another member on the team to even it out. You said the other day we were gonna start hiring someone and look, here he is. Ah, uh, you know what? Fine, you can work. But if you mess up once, and I mean once, I will fire you so fast your head will spin. You got it? Yeah, I got it. Thank you so much. Yeah, whatever. Stupid rich kid, not rich anymore. Look, the boss may seem a little crabby right now. He's really not that bad. Well, thanks so much to you, too. Without you, I wouldn't have gotten this job at all. Uh, it's not a problem. I saw all about your family on the news. Oh, man, you saw all that, huh? No, and I feel really bad for your family. Having to lose your home and everything must have been really tough. And I can see you're trying to improve your life, so why don't you deserve another chance? Wow, thank you so much. Of course, don't mention it. And don't be late for work on the first day. You don't want to make a bad first impression. Man, this job is not easy, but I think I'm getting the hang of it. Excuse me, poor people. I'm looking for my son, Paul Caldwell. Is he here? Oh, sweetheart, look, he's over there. Mom, Dad, what are you guys doing here? What are you doing working at a place like this? Honey, your last name has a reputation attached to it. You should be working as a lawyer or a banker or something meant for rich people. Not this poor person business. Well, at least I'm trying to do something to help out the family. We've been trying to help as well. That's right. We snuck into the yacht club earlier. Got kicked out, but we got to talk to a couple of our friends. They said they'd help us. So you went to go ask your rich friends for help instead of doing the work on your own? I mean, it's the least they could do after inviting them to all the lavish parties and events we threw over the years. Honey, you're above this job. Let's just go home. No, I'm not going anywhere. Well, if you want to sulk around here with the rest of the poor, suit yourself. Come on, honey. Let's get out of here. Oh, man, this is great. My first paycheck. I can't believe I made this much money after only my first day. You know, if I keep this up, I'll be able to find a new place to stay no problem. Mom, Dad, I'm back. What have you got there, son? Well, I got my first paycheck. Check it out. Over a thousand dollars? Wow, that's a uh, that's incredible. Oh my gosh, wow, honey, that's a that's a lot of money. Good things, yay! Look, uh, your mother and I are really, really sorry about the way we acted at your job earlier. We're just so proud of you and all of the accomplishments that you made and all the money you made for us. I mean, you. Wow. Do you guys really mean that? Of course we mean it. We're your mother and father. We love you and support you no matter what. Well, that's really nice to hear. And I accept your apology. Well, if you guys don't mind, I'm exhausted and I need a shower. Honey, look at that. That is over a thousand dollars. I know. Can you believe it? We actually have some money now. I was so tired of being broke. It was just so tragic. Come on, honey. Let's take this money and put it to good use. Oh man, I really needed that shower. Wait, where's my paycheck? It was right here. I left it right here. Oh no, did somebody take it? Where could it be? Where could it be? Oh honey, that was the best day I had in a long, long time. I know, I didn't know that restaurant had such good caviar. Oh, Paul, there you are. How's it going, son? Honey, you should have come with us. We went to this cute little restaurant on the Lower East Side. It was so charming. And so expensive. You guys stole my paycheck. Well, of course we stole your paycheck. It was ours as well. No, it wasn't. It was mine. I worked for that money. Honey, we didn't complain when you used all your father's money before. It's only fair. <sighs> you two are the worst. You're just a bunch of spoiled brats. Why are you freaking out like this, Paul? It's not like it was a whole lot of money anyways. You know what? I can't believe you two. I'm leaving. Leaving? Where are you going? Somewhere far away from you two. Oh, man, I'm exhausted. I 
I've been working all night and it's still nowhere near done. Maybe I could just close my eyes for a little while. Paul, what are you doing? Wake up, man. You can't be falling asleep on the job like that, dude. This is dangerous. Whoa. Oh. Davis, I'm sorry. I'm just so tired. Tired? Tired from what? How long have you been working for? Oh, it hasn't been that long. Uh, just 10 hours. 10 hours? You were supposed to have the day off today, Paul. Why are you here? Look, my parents stole my paycheck and they spent all of it. I'm just trying to make back what they spent. They stole your paycheck? You've got to be kidding me. Nope, I wish I was. Now I have nothing. Hey, cheer up, dude. Everything will be all right. How about I go buy you some lunch? You look starving. Thanks for lunch, Davis. I really needed this. Yeah, and you needed a break. If you push yourself too hard, you're going to be no good to us on the job site. I know. I was just so mad at my family. I had to do something. Well, what your family did was wrong. And honestly, Paul, you don't need them. I don't need them? but they're my family. Yeah, of course, and they're always gonna be your mom and dad, but it seems as though they're extremely selfish and only think about themselves. I think they need to learn a lesson and not depend on you for their money. I guess you've got a point. All I'm saying is, I think you should probably move out, be on your own and do your own thing. Maybe someday, but I think my mom and dad really need me right now. Look, Greg, I know it's been a long time, but uh, I could really use the help and I could really use the job. <laughs> this is a joke. It's gotta be. I know it sounds too funny to be true, uh, but it, it's really actually true. I've lost everything. What makes you think that you can get a job here? Because you and I are friends. We went to college together. Come on, Greg. Yeah, well, that might have been true, but now you're poor, which means you're nothing to me. I, I don't know what to say. Don't say say anything. We will never hire you here. Oh, and guess what? No one at the Yacht Club will ever talk to you again. <laughs> no, not the Yacht Club. Please, please. Now get lost or I'm going to sick security on you. Well, honey, how did it go? Uh, no luck. Greg is just as big of a jerk as ever. I have always hated him. Well, I'm not working. So if you can't get a job, then we have a serious problem. Well, none of our friends want to help us. I've called Quentin, Gerald. I've even called my mother. No. Yes, and she's not helping either. So much for friends. Seems as though they want nothing to do with us now that we're poor. Did we act like that when we had money? No, no, of course not. We were incredible people, and we still are. We just have to to keep taking money from Paul. But he was really upset last time. He'll forgive us. Well, did you find it? I think so. Aha, uh -huh, here it is. Here, you take half and I'll take the other. Um, what's going on here? Oh, uh, hey, hey, Paul, nothing. Oh yeah, nothing's going on all right. I saw everything you just did. Honey, we need this money, okay? Need it for what? More fancy dinners? Yeah, of course. We've got to keep up appearances, don't we? You know what? I think I've had enough. Enough? With what? You haven't had caviar in weeks. I've had enough of you. Of us? Yeah, you keep stealing all the money that I'm working for. You know what? I've had it. I'm out of here. You're out of here? Come on. Paul, honestly, this is the real world, okay? And you're never going to make it on your own, especially not without your mother and I behind you. That's what you guys think, but I've changed. Clearly, you guys haven't. I'll prove both of you guys wrong. I'll be able to survive on my own, no problem. Just watch me. Hey, Paulie, I gotta talk to you. Come into my office. Am I in trouble, boss? I wouldn't say you're in trouble, but we need to have a serious conversation. Uh, okay. So you've been working here three months, right? Yeah, I think it has been that long now. you come a long way, Paul. I was wrong about you at first. When I looked at you, I was like, great, look, here's this dumb spoiled brat. Uh, yeah. But actually, you've been a really hard worker, and I've been very impressed by you. You're setting an example for the rest of the team. Thanks, boss. I try to do my best. And because you're doing your best, I think I can, uh, promote you. A promotion? Exactly. And here's a bonus if you want the job. Oh my gosh, of course. Of course, this is awesome. I'm really proud of you, Paul. You've done real good here. Well, thank you so much. This is the best opportunity ever. And rumor is that Paul Caldwell actually works here now. Wait, look, there he 
he is right there. Oh no, the paparazzi again? Paul, just got a quick couple questions for you, man. First off, how does it feel working for the first time ever in your entire existence? And two, how does it feel to be the worst son, leaving your parents completely homeless? You need to get your story straight. I didn't leave my parents. You got a job now, man. What are your parents doing? They're grown adults. They can do whatever they want. Now, if you'll excuse me, I need to get back to work. No, wait, just a couple more pictures. No, no more pictures. Man, I'm glad I lost the paparazzi before I got home. Does anybody have any spare change? I'm poor and I hate it. Unbelievable. Well, if it isn't our good for nothing son. Come on, honey, we should definitely get out of here. Oh no, you guys aren't going anywhere. We've got to talk. Talk about what, darling? You guys told the paparazzi that I abandoned you guys? Well, that nice gentleman came down and started asking us questions. It was our job to tell him the truth. So you didn't tell the paparazzi that you stole all my money. Paul, we did not steal your money. That's right, we just took it. This only shows that you really only care about yourself. I agree. I can't believe we raised somebody so selfish. You should be helping out your family and giving us your money. All you guys care about is money. You know what? Until you guys want to earn it back, I'm not going to help you at all. Congratulations, Paul. I'm really proud of you, man. You've been working so hard and clearly it's paid off. Thanks, Davis. You know, this is the first car I've ever bought for myself. Wait, really? Well, yeah. Before this, my parents just bought me anything that I needed. This is the first time I'm actually able to do things on my own. Uh, well, that makes this even a more special and greater accomplishment. I am really proud of you, Paul. You know, this city really needs a whole lot of work done, doesn't it? Yeah, a lot of buildings are in disrepair and people could definitely use some new homes. I think I've got an idea. What are you thinking now? Well, a lot of buildings are in disrepair, so maybe we can build a bunch of new buildings in town. Maybe organize the city better. Is this going to be your next project? Yeah, I think it is. Honey, I'm so hungry. I could really use some real food, like salmon tartare. Honey, I haven't had salmon tartare in over three and a half months. I can't stand living like this anymore. I know, it's terrible. And all of these people are just sad and poor. What are we supposed to do? I don't know, have you called your friend Buffy? Buffy won't talk to me anymore. Neither will any of the other girls. They're all on a trip to Fiji and they're all posting on Instagram and I'm not not part of it! We can't be homeless forever. This isn't right and it's not fair. What are we going to do? We should be rolling in the money like we used to. I think it's time we pay a visit to our son. I must say, Paul, I am extremely impressed with this line of work. Well, thanks so much, Mr. Mayor. Yeah, my team did an amazing job building this. And was this made with local steel? Of course it was. This recreational center was built specifically to benefit this town. This thing is huge. That's right. It'll be a great place for kids to go to after school. Well, Paul, looks like this project's pretty much complete. And I must say, once again, very, very impressive. Thanks so much, Mr. Mayor. I bet you got some other great ideas in that noggin of yours. Of course I do. I've got so many ideas that'll help the city. Well, keep up the good work and you'll be rewarded for it. Now, if you don't mind, I gotta go meet with the governor. All right, yeah, see you later. Oh my goodness, Paul, was that the mayor? Mom, Dad, what are you guys doing here? Go on, honey, tell him. We wanted to apologize. We shouldn't have told the paparazzi you abandoned us and when you said we needed to earn our money you were right your father and i were talking and we thought it was time to get jobs yes we get jobs and we were wondering if we could work with you i know it's a big ask and you're probably still pretty mad at us right now but we really uh could really use the help son are you guys serious more than ever we want to make a change in our lives well i'm really happy that you guys are finally starting to change why don't you guys stop by my work tomorrow you guys can start then. All right, now don't push yourselves too hard. This job is really difficult, but I gave you your project for today, so get to it. All right, son, we'll get this thing started. Yeah. All right, honey, I think we can do this. Let's give it a shot. What the? How do people do this all day long? I'm already exhausted. Okay, this is way too heavy. I cannot lift this. That's it. I give up. 
Honey, working here sucks. I know, this is way too much work for us. We're his parents. Can't he give us something more administrative? I know, I would love to have my own office in a corner window and maybe even have an assistant to go get me lattes. I know, that's the life we deserve, not this. Hey, you, over there, do this job for us. We're not doing it. Yeah, not happening, buddy. What, are you not even listening to me? Hey, you, you over there. Honey, these people are just ignoring us. This is so stupid. I am not doing this. I could break a, a nail, Jonathan. Diane, let's get out of here. This whole job thing is stupid. Oh, hey guys, what's up? Wait, shouldn't you be at work right now? What are you guys doing here? We're not doing that stupid job. How could you give us something so degrading? You could have at least made us managers so we could boss some people around. No, you had to punish us for some reason. I'm not punishing you guys. This is completely fair. I want you guys to learn and to work hard for what you get. Well, it was a terrible idea working for you. You don't know how to run a company. You don't know how to do anything. It's gonna crumble and fall. And we don't want any part of it we quit we'll figure everything out on our own and we'll show you how it's really done man i hope the mayor likes all these new ideas mr mayor i'm thinking luxury sky rise apartments all the brand new furnishings some celebrities will probably even move in as well we'll uh, do like the sound of that oh paul mom dad what are you guys doing here since when did you guys care about the city <laughs> Get a load of my son, huh? Your father and I go way, way back. We used to be old golf buddies when we were rich. That's right, and we just wanted to catch up with the mayor and discussing some new ideas to help the city. It seems as though these good ideas are running in the family. Paul, I know you got some, but it looks like your parents do as well. I'm thinking of an exclusive spa where we do stone massages and a fresh smoothie bar. Uh, Mr. Mayor, aren't we supposed to be having a meeting right now? Yeah, you're right. I'm very sorry. Look, I don't have time to go through all of these proposals today. I'm a very busy mayor. But I got myself a little idea. Why don't you guys pick your best projects and get them started? And then we'll find out which one works better for the city. Great work today. You all can go. Man, I can't believe that my own parents are trying to make this a competition. Once again, they're just back at being super selfish. I hope that my building will show the mayor that this will benefit the city. Well, I think it's time to call a night myself. I'm exhausted. <laughs> With this, we're totally gonna win. Once the mayor sees this, he'll be disgusted. The money's as good as ours. Well, Mr. and Mrs. Caldwell, your building looks absolutely beautiful. Paul, I think it's time we go and tour your building. All right, sir, you can follow me. Wait, what is going on? The building's collapsing. Everybody get back. What? What happened? There's no way. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Mr. Mayor. I gotta tell you, when Paul was little, he couldn't even build with Lego sets. Paul, is this the quality you put into your buildings? No, it's not at all. I don't know what happened. We are lucky that there was no one inside this building. This could have hurt the citizens of the town. Shame on you, Paul. Once again, Mr. Mayor, I apologize for my son's actions. Mr. and Mrs. Caldwell, all of your future projects will be sponsored by the mayor exclusively. Pleasure doing business with you, Mr. Mayor. We've got plenty of ideas for the city, Mr. Mayor. My wife here is chock full of them. I'm thinking a brand new modern art gallery and also a very upscale mall with only designer clothing stores inside. Well, I'll admit that does sound pretty nice. And imagine all the revenue it'll bring into the city. I like the sound of that. My town grows and my citizens are happy. I'm happy. Here, take all the money you need and make sure you get that building done pronto. Of course, Mr. Mayor, of course, we'll get started right away. Oh my gosh, honey, look at all that money. There must be millions of dollars in there. I don't think we'll miss a couple million dollars out of here, do you think? Honey, are you thinking what I'm thinking? Shopping spree? Absolutely. Well, now that my parents basically have control of every building project in the city, I guess I've got no choice but to close this place down. 
There's really nothing else we can do? I can't afford to pay everybody if we don't have any jobs. Man, this is so frustrating. I can't believe your own family would do this to you, sabotaging you and ruining your success. Well, that is what it is with my parents, always acting so selfish and caring about money more than their own son. It's really sad, dude. You know, maybe the best thing for us to do is to start over from scratch. I agree. I don't think we should give up just yet. There's got to be something else we can do. All right, Paul. Time for you to clean up and get on out of here. We're sorry, sir. We'll be out in just a bit. I ain't got time. You gotta go now. Your parents bought this place for their new business, so get going. Seriously? They're unbelievable. I know. Well, come on, Davis. We got some planning to do. That was a great business meeting with Davis. I can't wait to get home. Oh, honey, wait, 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 stop the car. Hello, sweetheart, hello. What, you're not gonna say anything to your mom and dad? You're not gonna congratulate us on our brand new car? Wow, yeah, really happy for you guys. I know, sweetheart, we're rich again. Isn't this incredible? It's like it was meant to be. Yeah, it meant to be stealing all of my ideas and being selfish with your money again. We're Sorry, sweetheart. We raised a genius who has such incredible ideas. Oh, look at him, Diane. He's really sad. Well, I hope you guys are actually helping the city with your building ideas. We're taking all of yours, aren't we? And you know what, sweetheart? We are not these terrible monsters. We heard your company completely failed. And because of that, you can always come and work for us. Yeah, I'm sure we could find some construction job for you. Maybe even a janitor position. I don't know. No way. I'll never work for you guys. I can do this on my own. <laughs> Our son is so funny. Doing things on his own. How pathetic. It's your funeral, Paul. You want to crash and burn, that's your own fault. Come on, honey, let's go to the country club. I could use some scones or maybe a gold-plated wagyu. Hey, Paul, you notice anything weird going on here? Uh, yeah. Like, where's all the buildings? Yeah, your parents got all these jobs to build new projects, and I'm not seeing any. All I see is empty spaces. You know what? I bet my parents are just spending all the mayor's money and not contributing any of it to making the new buildings. That's not good. They could probably get in a lot of trouble for doing that. Well, what's even worse than that is that this is really hurting the city. No new buildings are going up, which means the city can't grow. Not to mention it's a total eyesore. I think we've got to do something about this. I think it's finally time to put that plan into action, Davis. And that's why I think this business is an amazing idea. Well, what do you think? Well, this was a very impressive proposal. I must give you that. So, you'll invest in our company? <laughs> Absolutely not. I heard about you and your company creating faulty buildings, rich kid losing everything. I don't want to fund some spoiled brat who only gets half the job done. No, please, you don't understand. Are you calling me stupid? I've had enough of this. I'm a very rich and busy man. Get out of my office. So, how did it go? Not great, Davis. Not great at all. But you have an incredible business pitch. That should have been in the bag. Yeah, well, because of my parents, he said no. Why don't I go back in there and talk to him? Maybe I can change his mind. No, no. You know what? We don't need him. What are you talking about? Of course we need him. We need big investors to put money into these projects. No way. We can build a building all on our own. We'll just invest in ourselves instead. And I've been in contact with the old team. All those workers were definitely love to help you out all right well with inspection coming in tomorrow i think this building is all done all right there he is turn on the camera yo paul caldwell slick hasty here with channel 8 news we are astonished with what you've accomplished here today really oh well thanks it looks like it's an actually sound building and it doesn't look like it's gonna come down at all the town is gonna love this what in tarnation is going on here? Looks like a pig pen. The Caldwells are gonna answer for this, that's for sure. Jonathan, Diane, we need to have a conversation. Oh, Mr. Mayor, hi, welcome. Uh, listen, this isn't our home, okay? It's just an Airbnb we're renting. Our new home is being built, actually. When on earth is that mall gonna be built? My daughter wants to do some shopping. Oh, it should be done within a couple of weeks. 
Really? Because I just went down to the project site and I saw that it's nothing but a pile of dirt. Mr. Mayor, uh, you look upset. I gave you all that money to help this city and it looks as though you're only helping yourselves. I'm going to be taking this back. You know, you two are absolutely unbelievable and you're a bunch of frauds. I am never going to be working with you again. You can kiss your construction company goodbye. Um, honey, what just happened? I think we got fired. This isn't good. Oh, and by the way, I called the owner of this Airbnb. You're not allowed to stay here anymore either because you haven't been paying them. Look, Mr. Mayor, this is all some kind of big confusion. I'm confused as to why I even trusted you to begin with. Mr. Mayor, please give us another shot. I have a trip planned to Greece next week. I can't miss it. Yeah, fat chance, Caldwells. Like I said, you're done for. Oh, man. Mom and dad are in some serious trouble now. Hey, Mr. and Mrs. Caldwell. Just heard the news that you guys are the biggest frauds of the century. Look, we don't have time to be taking pictures, okay? Just leave us alone. How does it feel to be absolute trash bag? Just go away. I have a feeling this is probably going to get back to me somehow. I'm not looking forward to it. So did you hear the news about your parents? Yeah, of course I did, but I'm just gonna ignore all of it. We should really just keep our focus on helping the city. <laughs> yeah, classic Paul, just keeping his head up as usual. So what are we doing here exactly? Well, I had an idea for a new project. Take a look around at this old park. What's the first thing that comes to your mind? Uh, people need to stop littering. That's the first thing. Doesn't look like anyone really takes care of it. And that's exactly right. It's time we transform this old park into something brand new. Okay, I like what you're thinking. Let's get started. All right, let's just set this down right here. That's a great idea to recycle this old playground equipment. Well, how do they work? They're just as good as new. And I think we're just about done. Now, man, the kids in this neighborhood are gonna love playing at this park. I totally agree. Well, Paul, looks as though you're at it again, aren't you? Mr. Mayor, what are you doing out here? Well, word got to my office that somebody was fixing up the West Side Park. I had a feeling it might have been you. And my suspicion was right. Also, uh, I came down here to apologize to you, Paul. Apologize to me? How about siding with your parents? I learned my lesson the hard way, and I should have known better. You know your dad always used to cheat at golf. <laughs> that sounds like something he'd do. Well, I want to honor you, Paul, for doing such a great job for this community. I want to throw a big fundraising gala for your next project, and I want you to be our guest of honor. Wow, are all these people here just for me? And to donate to all your projects. They heard all the good you've been doing, and I gotta tell you, these are some of the richest people in the city. Their pockets run deep. Whoa, this is incredible. Mr. Mayor, I need to thank you. I really only just wanted to help the city. Yeah, right. Get a load of this guy, huh? All I wanted to do was help the city. Stop lying to these people. Mr. Caldwell, you were not invited to the gala. Well, how could we have missed this opportunity to celebrate our spoiled brat of a son? He only wants the attention from you guys. He's been doing this ever since he was a child. Really funny, isn't it? No, you're funny. It's funny how pathetic you. Are. Yeah, they're so poor now. Security, I need you to come in here and escort these people out immediately. That's unnecessary, Mr. Mayor. We'll see ourselves out, and we'll see who gets the last laugh, Paul. Honey, grab some shrimp on the way out. Of course I'm gonna grab shrimp on the way out, Diane. So this is what got him all this money and fame and attention? It's just a stupid park. What's the big deal? You know what we should do? We should destroy it. Do you think that'll teach him a lesson? Of course it will. We'll just burn it to the ground in a... What? Wait, Paul? I knew you guys would try something like this again. Get out of the way. No, I'm done with you guys acting like this. Oh yeah, and by the way, I called the cops. They should be here any minute. You did what? All right, you two. You're going downtown for a long time. Do you have any idea who we are? We're Jonathan and Diane Caldwell. You can't arrest us. Paul, please, cut us a break, okay? I tried to help you guys, but you guys were never, ever happy. I hope you guys learn your lesson eventually. <sighs> oh my gosh. Get back here, you poor loser. Watch, one day I'm going to be the richest man in the world. You'll see. Oh no, a dead end. Ha ha ha, nowhere for you to run. You shouldn't have stolen from my dad's shop. I was just hungry, man. I just needed some food. I haven't eaten in days. I don't care. You're just a poor, pathetic, disgusting loser. I think we should teach this guy a lesson. Yeah, get him. 
Dad's gonna kill me when he finds out I didn't bring anything back. Christopher, where have you been? And you look empty-handed. Where's the food I asked for? Look, I tried. I tried to go where you told me, and it caught me. Ugh, you're good for nothing. Come with me. Look here. What do you see? Nothing. We're just looking at the kitchen. Exactly. There's nothing in here. Me and your brothers are poor because of you. We were fine before you came along. Yeah, it's all your fault. You know what? I don't have time for this. Where do you think you're going? Anywhere but here. I don't need to stand here and listen to you guys blame everything on me. I tried my best and that's all I can give. And watch. One day, I'm going to be the richest person in the world and you guys will all see. So cold. Wow, absolutely incredible story. Thank you, thank you. That's how I became rich and started my extremely successful business. Wow, I want to be just like that guy. I'm sure if I put my mind to it and I work hard enough, I'll be exactly like him. What's that? Uh, another long day at work. Well, that's perfect timing. I have an idea. I'm not going to like doing it. Well, this lock was easy. Here's some food. Now I can finally go home. Uh, hi. Whoa, what do we have here, huh? Uh, nothing. I, I gotta go. Get back here, you thief. I'm so sorry. I didn't want to. Just leave me alone. Get back here. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, no. He hurt himself. I, I, I gotta go. I gotta go. I hope I don't regret this. I'm back. I got the food you want. Are you happy now? Wow, you're finally not useless. Shocking. Yeah, why are you so upset? We finally got food. I'm upset because of what I had to do to get it. I just don't feel right. Well, yeah, thanks for the food, man. Yeah, me and your brothers are going to enjoy this. Wait, what? What about me? What about you? You did your job? You gave me and your brothers food? I'm the one that got it. I had to break the law to get this. And what? That makes you entitled to the food? You know what? I've had it. I'm done putting up with this. It's obvious that you guys don't care about me at all. And I'm not gonna put myself in these types of situations anymore. You're gonna do this all by yourself, huh? Where are you gonna go? I don't know, but anywhere about here is better. Oh, I saw on the news that the old guy got sent to the hospital. Hey, excuse me, I'm looking for a patient. Listen, man, there's a lot of patients, all right? Which one are you talking about? It was like an older guy. He fell and hurt himself. Yeah, 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 just down the hall to the left. Wait, wait, what? What's going on? He's coding. We're losing him. Get the defibrillator fast. What? No, this can't be happening. You, you're the idiot that stole from me. Wait, wait, what? You're not in that room? Uh, I'm so glad you're okay. No, I'm in this room, you idiot. Look, I just feel awful about what happened and I wanted to check up on you. I'm really sorry, okay? I'm just glad you're okay. And I'm glad you came back too, so I could tell you this to your face. The next time I catch you stealing from me again, you'll be the next person in this hospital. You again? Get out of my shop. Yeah, I know you don't want to see me right now, but I just had something I wanted to ask you. Look, I just don't want to steal anymore, okay? I was actually just asking for a job. <laughs> Listen, I don't have any work for you, all right? Well, you could have just said that. You didn't have to laugh in my face. You're positive there's not anything I can do? I'll literally sweep the floors if I have to. I'll scrub the toilets. Just give me anything. <sighs> all right. Follow me, kid. I might have something for you. What's all of this? What does it look like? It's junk. Well, what am I supposed to do with it? I don't know. You can figure something out. Be creative, inventive or something. All this is yours. You can have it. All right. I mean, I'm sure I can figure something out. Thanks, I guess. I mean, I guess the guy was right. If I put my mind to it, I could figure something out. And I did. Look at this shop. I mean, it's small, but I'm proud of it. Oh my goodness, look at that. That's one beautiful bicycles you got there. Why, thank you. I'm actually selling it. What? No way. I want it. Uh, okay. How much are you willing to pay for it? Um, I got like $20, a paper clips, some napkins, and my beautiful smile with my two teeth, y'all. Uh, okay. You can keep everything else. I'll take the 20. Oh my goodness, this is one of the best days of my lives. Come on, little bicycles. Let's go home. Yeah. 
That was amazing. If I can keep this up, I can open up my own store in no time. Well, 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 if it isn't young Christopher. Look at this stupid little stand. <laughs> what are you doing, Christopher, selling cookies? No, what I'm doing is working and actually making something out of myself. You guys should take some notes. Look, man, you're pretty pathetic for stupid down to this level, trying to sell things and make a living. It's so much easier just to steal. No, I don't want to steal. It's not the right thing to do. Yeah, well, you know what happens when you open up your own shop? You get stolen from. Get him, Henry. <laughs> Ah! Now take everything. Let's go. <laughs> you got it. Later, you stupid loser. Ow. Ow. I've been in the hospital for like a week now. No one even checked up on me. Well, there you are. How are you feeling? What? What are you doing here? Yeah, I don't know. Came to check up on you, see if you're all right. See if you need a ride home or something. Yeah, that'd be great. My legs are killing me. I can't walk anymore. Yeah, and you're looking kind of hungry, too. You need food or something? I haven't had normal food in over three months. Yeah, all right, all right. I'll stop somewhere on the way and get you some food. Thanks, you're a real lifesaver. And that hospital was really weird. Yeah, tell me about it. They were giving me salt-free saltines. Salt-free saltines? What's the point? Yeah, and then once they beat me up, they just took everything and left. Yeah, you've told me about these brothers of yours before. Real pieces of work, huh? Yeah, I mean, it just seems like they're out to make my life miserable. Why do you think I left my home? Well, it was smart of you to leave. That place wasn't good for you. You know, I see you're kind of down about all this. Don't worry about it, all right? You won't have to worry about your brothers anymore. I called the cops on them. Wait, what? You called the police on them? Well, yeah, I'm not going to let them get away with it. Got to teach them a lesson. Yeah, but they're still my brothers. I, I can't let them just go to jail. When real brothers steal from you, what they did was wrong. Well, what you did was wrong, too. It's not your place. Th that's my family. Oh, I got to go figure this out. Oh, no. Looks like the police is already here. Well, well, well. Are you happy now, Christopher? We're getting sent away and it's all your fault. No, no. I, I gotta go talk to Dad. Dad, did you see what's going on? Did I see what's going on? Man, you're dumb. Of course I see what's going on. My sons are getting taken away in handcuffs because of you. No, that's not true. I didn't call the police on them at all. I was actually coming here to try to figure this all out. I don't want them to get sent to jail. You left me and your brothers high and dry and you come back here now? What, do you think you're better than us just because you've got a job? I got a job because I need to make something more out of myself. What your brothers did to you? You deserved every second of it. They went to put you back in your place where you belong. You know what? Maybe they should get sent to jail. I'm going to prove you guys wrong. You'll see. Can't believe all of this is happening. Oh, this is on them, though. This is their fault. They got themselves in this situation. Oh, I'm so hungry, though. My stomach's growling. I don't like doing this, but I don't have a choice. I'm sorry, whoever lives here. I really need this. All right, now I can finally eat. And uh, 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 hi. Mm hmm. What do you think you're doing, kid? Uh, nothing. I was just borrowing. Kid, you are an awful liar. I'm extremely disappointed in you. Look, I had no other choice. I need to eat somehow. And my family literally hates me. I'm homeless again. I have nowhere to go. I just hear you making excuses on excuses for your awful actions. You know stealing is bad. Listen, kid, you just can't see your own potential right now. You're all wrapped up in your emotions. Yeah, but I feel lost. I'm stuck on the streets now. I don't know what to do. Listen, I'll give you one last chance, all right? I'll help you out. Come with me. Let's go. What's this place? Is this the junkyard? Wow, he's really smart, huh? Of course it's a junkyard. And it's mine. Wow, what a place you got. Listen, kid, I'm going to give you one last opportunity. But you've got to work for it. You understand? Yeah, I mean, of course. I'll do anything. This is the office you'll be in charge of, and, uh, well, I guess you can stay here as well. I won't make you pay rent or anything like that, just as long as you work and take care of the place. That sounds great. Thank you so much for the opportunity. Uh, what, what, what is that? S smells like something's burning. 
Oh my gosh, it's on fire. <laughs> Burn it all down. <laughs> you, what's wrong with you? What are you doing? Oh, you must work for the old man. I hate that man. So this is all planned? The old man is nothing but nice. You have no idea what you're talking about. I'm gonna ruin that old man. It's the last thing I do. Just get out of here. You gotta get out of there. There's a fire. But all the stuff. You need to put it out right now. These are important to us. Kid, if you don't get out of here right now, you and the entire place is gonna be inflamed in the next 20 seconds. All right, just, just please save my home. The entire place, it was it just got lit on fire and all of it's gone. All gone, you say, huh? Hmm. Why do you seem unfazed? This is your home. Man, it's just piles of junk, kid. It's really not that big of a deal. Yeah, but the guy that set everything on fire, he seemed like he knew you. Yeah, that's Eustace. <sighs> Typical Eustace. Always after me one way or another. But forget him. I gotta say, kid, I'm liking this new attitude of yours. Why? Well, it shows you actually care about something, which is a good quality to have. But you better watch out. You better not let it derail you from your goals. Yeah, I know. I mean, my goal is a pretty big one. And what are you going to do about this Eustace guy? I'm just going to let him do his thing. You know, you can't control people and their actions. Only how you react to them. So now the junkyard's basically gone. What are you going to do now, kid? I'm going to prove you right, and I'm going to continue to work. You'll see. I'll be the richest man in the world. This is the new property that I got. It's strictly for business. Well, what do you think? That's not too bad. Foundation looks sturdy. I think you did a good job, kid. So what's it gonna be? Are you gonna want the property or not? It's a really lovely place, man. You should get it. Yeah, uh, I think I will. Congratulations, Christopher. I'm proud of you. You made the next step. Now let's get this business going. Wow, I never thought I'd be able to throw my own party like this. I just feel so accomplished. Well, 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 look who it is. What's wrong, Christopher? Don't recognize your own father? Dad, what are you doing here? Came by to see my old son, see how he's doing, but clearly he's a whole new man now. Looks like you changed for the worst. Dad, I'm probably gonna have to ask you to leave. I'm sick of hearing you just guilt trip me like this, blaming your own actions on me. It's not right. Oh, really? If I'm the one that remembers correctly, you were the one that turned your back on your family. That's right, everybody. He turned his back on his family. What's all the commotion going on over here? Shut up, old man. I'm talking to my son. Don't talk to him that way. So this is your good-for-nothing dad, huh? Look at you coming in here acting all high and mighty. You've abandoned your child for years. I was more of a father to him than you ever were. Excuse me. You have no right to tell me that. That's it. That's enough. Dad, you're out of here. You turned your back on your family, and you're going to have to live with that decision. Don't listen to him, Christopher. You're doing all right. And I'm proud of you for sticking up for yourself. Uh, I just bought this new car. Can't wait to see the look on the old guy's face. Hey, it's Christopher. Are, are you home? Uh, yeah. What do you want, Christopher? I wanted to show you this new car I got. Oh, yeah. <coughs> yeah, yeah. Good for you. It looks great. Uh, are you okay? You don't sound so well. You don't sound well. <coughs> no, no, I'm, I'm fine. I'm, I'm just fine. What? No, no, no. Are you okay? He's not breathing. Someone help me. Anyone, please. All right, we got to focus here, guys. His heart rate is dropping. Come on, come on. Please pull through. Come on, faster. Let's go. We're losing him. We're, we're, we, we lost him. What? No, this can't be happening. I couldn't even say goodbye. He was probably one of the most inspirational people I knew. He changed everything for me, and, and he gave me what I needed to become a better man. And the world had a loss today by losing him. Sure, he may have been a grumpy old man, but he had a good heart, and he meant a lot to me. Hi, I'm really sorry for interrupting. Your name is Christopher, right? Yeah, that's me. Is everything all right? 
Well, first off, I'd like to say I'm really sorry for your loss. I actually knew the old man pretty well myself. Been his lawyer for years. Oh, I'm sorry. Listen, I actually hate to bring this up now, but you and I have some business to discuss. Business? Why? What's going on? Well, I was going over the old man's will. Turns out he left everything to you. Wait, really? Are you being serious? Yeah, just come by the office later this week. We'll sign some papers, get everything going. Boys, how's it going in here? Are you guys holding up okay? Dad, it's awful in here. I want to go home. Shut up, Henry. Stop being such a crybaby. Yeah, that's right, Henry. Stop being a crybaby. Listen to your smarter brother. Dad, you never come to visit. What's going on? What do you want from us? I went and saw your brother Christopher a couple days ago. The idiot has a house, a business, and he wears clothes without holes in them. What? So he's got some money now or something? I'm so mad. All right, we got to get a plan to get out of here. We want to pay Christopher a little visit. Listen, guys, I'm going to talk to your lawyer, see if I can pull some strings. I might be able to get you out of here earlier than you expect. Oh, man. Here it is. The old man's shop where everything began. When we first met, him sticking up for me and everything. I can't believe all this is happening. It just doesn't feel the same in here. I promise I'm gonna get everything that he gave me and I'm gonna use it to better myself and everyone around me. I'm gonna become the richest man in the world and everyone will see it soon. We have to wire the $100 million, okay? We have to buy that property. We have to do this. This will better people's lives. Just wire the money, please. Sir, there's something I need to tell you. You might want to turn on the news. Something's happening. After a long fight in the court, these two gentlemen right here are finally getting out of jail. I knew this day would come, but I'm not going to let it ruin my life. I have goals that I need to handle and things to accomplish. This just in. There's a whole new business food chain opening up that serves healthy fast food with affordable pricing. Christopher, tell me, how did you make all this possible? I know what it was like to have to be homeless on the streets and not knowing what I was going to eat. And I don't want anyone to ever have to experience that ever again. Wow, well, where did this sudden burst of motivation come from? It didn't come from somewhere, but from someone. And it was someone special to me. Well, Christopher, thank you so much. Um, uh, excuse me, sir. Can I talk to you for a quick second? Yeah, what's going on? Is everything okay? Well, I overheard what you were saying. And you used to be homeless too. And you said that you wanted to help people. And I really could use some help. Oh, of course, of course I'll help you. Uh, here, uh, this is this is the food that we're gonna be selling. And, and, and take some of this too. What? Oh my gosh, I, I thought you were just gonna give me some food. I didn't expect you to give me this too a lot of money i want you to take it and make something out of yourself promise me that you're gonna never give up on what you want i'm sure you're gonna do great one day it didn't come from somewhere but from someone i cannot believe this man he's really getting the way with this with how he treated us we've been out of jail for like a day i don't want to see his ugly face on tv shut up henry did i say you can talk boys stop arguing pathetic and we also have bigger issues to deal with like what dad henry isn't it obvious since little old Christopher wants to help other people instead of his own family, then maybe we should send him a message. My thoughts exactly. You boys need to put him back in his place. Oh, wait. Wait a second. Does that mean we can do the plan that we talked about? Oh my goodness, Henry. You're so stupid. Yeah, we're going to go do the plan. And we're going to go do it now. Yeah, this is going to teach him a lesson. <laughs> stupid Chris. He thinks he's cooler than us? No one's cooler than us. All right, we got to get out of here quick. Wait, what? what's going on in here? Jack? Henry? I knew you guys would pay me a visit sooner or later. Look, Jack, it's Christopher. I didn't even recognize him in his fancy new clothes. Yeah, thinking he's all better than us. I never said I was better than you guys. And I'm not even surprised that you guys did this. Because no matter how I act, I'm sure you guys will never change. So why would I waste my time? What? Uh, no, no, be mad. Look at what we did at your restaurant. No, I'm not giving you guys the energy. You can't help someone that doesn't want to be helped. Wait, no, Christopher, get back here. 
Wait, so you seriously didn't press charges? No, it's just not worth it. Trust me. I've known them all my life. Yeah, but this is our restaurant we're talking about. They vandalized it. I know what I'm doing, okay? Retaliating and feeding into them is exactly what they want. They want the attention, and I'm not going to give it to them. Boss, boss! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! You're not gonna believe what's happening! You officially became the richest man in the world! The World Record Office announced it on their Twitter this morning! Oh my gosh! Uh, I did it! I'm really proud of you, sir! We all made this possible. You should be proud of yourself. This was a team effort. This is great. I'm so proud of all of us. But, but seriously, we need to figure out what we're gonna do about these vandals. Alright, fine. I may have an idea. Hey, what is going on here? What is this? What's happening? I was specially requested to be sent here to pick you guys up. Whoa, hey, Dad, are you taking us out to some kind of fancy dinner? No, Henry, I'm not taking us out to dinner. W what is going on here? Who even sent you to begin with? Why, the richest man in the world, of course. Wow, looks like our brother wants to pay us a visit, huh? Fine, let's go. Oh, there they are. Christopher, what is all of this all about? Yeah, what are we doing here? I just wanted to vocalize this. I'm the richest man now in the whole world. And I did it all on my own without your help. Why? So you're just going to rub it in our faces, huh? No, I wanted to tell you. So when I gave you guys these three houses right here, you have me to thank and no one else. Wait, what? You're giving us houses? Yeah, and I also got you guys cars to go with it. Because it's obvious that this is the only thing that's going to make you guys happy. I don't know. I don't understand. What's the catch here? All we've done has been mean to you all your life. Why are you doing this? Because I have one final request. I don't want anything to do with you guys moving forward. I mean, that's finally done and they're out of my lives. I should feel better about this, but, but I don't. The one person that cared about me, he's, he's gone. He's out of here. He's the one that changed my entire life. And he didn't even get to see the man that I really became. Huh. I even remember the time I stole from him. I wonder what the old man would have done. He would have made things right. He would have sheltered the entire world if he could have. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. All right, Christopher. What are you going to do now that you're the richest man in the world? Well, I'm going to tell you exactly what I'm going to do. I plan on using my wealth to shelter and feed everyone. Everyone that suffered something, everyone that needs the help, they're going to get it. I know the pain of being alone, hungry, scared, and I want no one else to feel that way ever again. I plan on opening more restaurants, more opportunities, and doing everything that I can to help this world. I will use my position to make this world a better place.